So if you guys are looking for a cheap and effective way to store your vinyl rolls and to take up a lot less space, head on to the Dollar Tree and snag those. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope that y'all are doing so well and staying healthy and safe. Um, I know that a lot of you have known this, but if you don't know, we moved. So um, I'm in a new house and everything, and I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to upload a video. And the reason why is because we have not had internet for so long. So a little bit of a backstory, we called the internet company two to three weeks before we moved just to let them know we needed internet service. And they said, oh, it should take 30 days max. So we said, oh, we might be without internet for a few days, but it'll be okay. Well, it ended up taking like six weeks. So that was not fun with two small children and running a business and all that. That was uh, not fun, but you know what? We made it through. And then on top of that, we unfortunately had a death in the family. Um, so we just needed some time. And um, you know, I didn't think that I wanted or needed a break, but honestly, it was really good for me. I feel like I was able to reflect on a lot of things. Like for my business, I was able to really change a couple of things just for the better. So um, that was good and I was able to unpack and you know get things, I guess, semi the way I wanted it. But I'm sure a lot of you know that if you've moved, it takes a lot of work to move. So um, yeah, so that's what's going on here with me. But I have a lot of videos planned and today I'm actually working on my office a little bit. I am doing a DIY vinyl roll holder. So I'm really excited about that. So I figured I would show y'all how I do that. I found a very cheap way that you can hang vinyl rolls. Um, I have a way that I do them for my scraps, but I wanted something kind of to display my smaller rolls of vinyl. And I'm gonna be building a large vinyl roll holder for my bigger rolls, like my white and black and things that I use a lot of. But these are just for the, like the smaller rolls, the smaller colors. So yeah, I guess we'll see how they turn out. It's all from the Dollar Tree. So if you guys want to find out a cheap and effective way to hang your vinyl rolls, then just keep on watching and we'll see how it goes, all right? So this is what I was talking about that I got from the Dollar Tree to hang my smaller vinyl rolls with. And I know you're probably thinking, wow, a dish rack. But I saw this online somewhere, I'm not sure exactly where, but it's literally fits smaller vinyl rolls perfectly, look right here. So you put them inside of each slat and it holds four rolls each. And obviously for a dollar, that's a pretty good deal. And they're pretty durable too. So I got that along with these drywall hooks to put into the wall to hang them with. And then I also just picked up while I was out some vinyl mats. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll see that I really like these mats a lot. It's the Paper Studio brand from Hobby Lobby and you get a two pack. And a lot of times they'll be 50% off. And so you'll get it like really cheap, a lot cheaper than you would get the Cricut brand mats or the Silhouette brand mats. So it works great. Just another tip if you wanna save some money on mats. So I'm now gonna go get my level and some stuff and I'm gonna go hang this up in my new office. Okay, so here's a little sneak peek of my work area. Um, I built this giant L-shaped desk. Excuse the mess. We have not, or I have not unpacked this room very much yet. And all the stuff on the table right there is going to go up on the pegboard that I'm going to build. So I really don't have a place for it right now. But anyways, so the desk I built has the X style and I absolutely love how it turned out. I used two by fours for the main part at the bottom and then I used two by sixes for the tabletop. So I'm really excited. It's a six by eight foot table. So this section over here is going to be where my computer is and I can do kind of my paperwork and things like that. And um, this long eight foot section, I'm going to be, it's going to be like my workspace. So where I do my vinyl decals, my wood signs, all that stuff. So that is the plan so far. And then right now I just have my um, silhouettes and stuff sitting right there. I don't know if I'm going to build something for that yet. Um, we'll see. <laughs> like I said, it's all a work in progress, but I'm thinking, I don't know why this is going out of focus. I am thinking what I'm going to do is, is put my pegboard on this wall. So it's going to be a giant pegboard and just have all of my stuff hung up right there. And then on this wall, I think I'm going to do the vinyl rolls. I'm not too sure yet. But that's the plan, at least right now. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and be figuring that out and figure out where I want to put these up. 
So as you can see, I have the dish racks just standing up straight and I'm trying to organize them kind of by colors now, but all you have to do is roll the vinyl up like this, not too tight. You want it a little bit thicker so it can hold in there and you can um, just slide them in and it's really easy. I did not know that I would be able to fit two rolls at a time. So if you have extra, that works. So and you just roll it up and then just stick it inside of the hole. Let's see. So, so I think that's gonna look really nice once I'm done and once I get everything color coordinated and all that. But, but yeah, that's literally all you have to do. Okay, so I think I got them exactly how I want them color coordinating wise. Um, it's kind of like bothering my OCD that we got uh, the some of the browns and tans with the pinks, but <laughs> it ended up working out perfectly. So I used one, two, three, four, five. I used six of these, so six dollars, and I'm hanging all of my vinyl rolls. And I think it turned out so cute. So I have the yellows, orange, red, and maroon, all of my metallics all of my purples, the blue, and then I had gray down here because it didn't have a place, but it's okay. And then we have the um, mints, turquoise, lime green, and green. I think it's gonna look so cute when I hang it up. So I will go ahead and update once I get it hung up on the wall, but I love it, it's so cute. So I have never hung with these before. So I'm about to find out <laughs> how this goes. I have mine spot marked. So I'm about to hang everything up and I just forgot to mention that um, you'll wanna use like a stud binder <laughs> with these, uh, these little hook things. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that there is no stud and then I'm gonna get them hung up. Okay, so I got the first one hung. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and hang this next one. I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going to put it. Okay. Make sure there's no stud again. All right. So I'm going to mark where I want it. go down any I might go up slightly okay Ooh. all right so I got my little hook I'm gonna go up above it just slightly I want to make sure that I caught it right next to the other one yep that's exactly straight Okay, I'm gonna go up just a little bit, just in case. And you just push it in the wall, blah, 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 blah. You just push it into the wall, it's really easy. And then just slide it in there. See, it's literally all it is. Let me just make sure that's the right height and stuff. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna mark where I want my other one to be. I forgot my hook. Okay. Ugh, I'm standing on my desk, so that's really safe. All right, um, so now I'm just gonna get my level. And then I'm gonna make sure I get it straight.
nice to see I have the two hooks on each side and it's holding it up and it's holding it really nice. I think it's gonna look really good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang the top layer and then work on the second side. All right, so I got everything hung up and oh my gosh, I'm in love with how it turned out. This is exactly what I envisioned for this to look. Um, the only thing about these dish racks are is they're not perfectly straight. Well, some of them aren't, uh, but you can barely tell. Like, as you can see, this one is bent just a little bit, but it's really not that big of a deal. It doesn't really show dramatically, so I'm not worried about it one bit. And for $6, I feel like it was definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, I got it on this wall. I decided to put it right here um, next to my vinyl cutters and my heat press and stuff like that so that way I could just get to it easier. And if you guys have seen that video that I did of my old craft tour or craft room tour, I showed how I stored my vinyl scraps. So I still have that in the same um, area now. But um, yeah, I love how it turned out. Oh my gosh, I love it. So um, I don't know if I'll keep it exactly like this, but I just have obviously the purples going into the pinks and then down into the metallics. And then over here, just gray on the top with the blues going into the mints to the turquoise to the lime and green, and then down into the yellows and oranges and reds. So I think it turned out really good. So I have another one right here. I have it on this bookshelf. Um, you can put paper in them too. So if you want to keep, these are my items for my, um, that I use in my vinyl packaging. So I have just regular paper and then my cardboard or cardstock and then the smaller cardstock. But y'all, seriously, these things are so awesome. You can do so much with them. And I saw a lot of different other ideas. So I snagged a couple extras and I will be doing a lot more with those. But I just wanted to show y'all real quick that if you get these, you can use them for so many different things. All right, guys, so I guess that wraps today's video up. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and maybe got some inspiration on hanging vinyl rolls in a cheap, effective way. But even if you're not using it for vinyl, I feel like you can use those for so many different things. So. Yep, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, I'm excited to get this room just finished up and done. Y'all stay tuned because I have a ton of videos coming. Woodworking stuff, Etsy related stuff, designing and decorating this room, and just a ton and ton of videos. So again, I appreciate all of you. And if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.